Welcome back, Guru Nation. A little, uh, little Sunday conversation here. Driving home, just picked up some new hats. Uh, let me get this air conditioner going here where it feels good in here. Um, just today, we're going to leave old Randy Blanket alone. We're going to have ourselves a little conversation today. We're going to talk about our, uh, our boy Jeff Sprague getting busted cheating at the MLF event over here. Now, we need to talk about this. This is I, I like doing these weekly conversations of big stuff and bass fishing and things like that. Um, it seems that he broke the no communication rule. And judging by, I think Josh Bertrand, he came on um, Luke Duncan's Traveling Circus or whatever it is, almost live deal. And said, um, you know, said something about this ain't the first time this guy's done this. Um, and, and said, you know, that a lot of people are doing it. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the no information thing? I mean, this guy was getting text messages on the water with GPS coordinates. Um, crazy thing is, MLF was kind of going to just keep this under the rug, throw it under the rug. Now, we know why, because Sprague is sponsored by Toro, and um, being that he's sponsored by Toro, that's a huge sponsor of MLF, and that's one of ML, you know, that's one of Toro's big guys there, so they were going to try to sweep this under the rug, and then, I don't know the guy, guys, the Facebook dude, but he got a hold of these messages, and it, it turns out it's pretty bad, you know, I mean, this guy finished like fifth or sixth uh, in the stage one over here uh, won $30,000 and so um, I mean, he, they, they're letting him fish the rest of the tournaments they only disqualified him, disqualified him for one tournament um, that's that's a felony, cheating at a fishing tournament, especially with the amount of money that's his, that's a felony and I know why they're I see why they're probably trying to keep it under wraps but that's a felony. I mean, if I'm fishing in that tournament um, and I got beat, especially say like you're the 11th place guy, um, the guy that could have got in that top 10, you might have, you might have, he might have messed you out of $100,000 by cheating um, because the weights start over in that last round. And so he, uh, he could have really messed some stuff up. There could have been a lot of people. Advance. I mean, he may have, he really may have messed it around from the very get go. Um, all the way from um, the, the first one at Darbone when you had to be in the top 40 anglers. And he may, you know, if he don't advance, the 41st place angler gets in. Who knows? He may go to Caney and uh, and get in there and get in the 100th time. I mean, this could have, this messed up a lot of stuff and he cheated and all they did was slap him on his wrist. So, how do you feel about that? How would you feel about it? I mean, it's a no information rule. They say a lot of people do it, but then they also say that if you get selected for a, say, a lie detector test, it's, uh, you know, it can be two, two and a half hours long. There's lots of stuff they ask you, so they're really strict on these lie detector tests. So, you know, what do you guys think about the cheating rule? What do you guys think about uh, a slap on the wrist and the fact that MLF was going to bury you? To, uh, I don't know. I don't know. To me, I think if you got caught cheating in that kind of tournament, that kind of money, I think you ought to be banned for the year at least, uh, at the very minimum, and possibly uh, for a lifetime out of that. That's a big deal. I mean, it's not like you broke a rule, you know, uh, something like that. You cheated. I mean, that you straight up gained an advantage over the anglers. You cheated. Cheating is cheating. I mean, it could have been, it wasn't much different than him having a fish box down there. I mean, uh, so cheating's cheating. I mean, the, the, uh, you know, the level of cheating is whichever way he decided to do it. Um, so, and that's, I mean, there ain't many ways to cheat in a bass tournament. And that's one of them, especially when it's strictly forbidden. So, and uh, so that's a big deal. And then also we're going to talk about uh, what do you think about the new MLF team tournament, the team format? That's pretty
pretty cool. Um, kind of going back to where guys, you know, sh- you know, have two or three guys on their team, like you know, a lot of the Tuesday night tournaments, you fish a team tournaments. Those are those. This is gonna. This could be really cool. Um, and these guys can communicate with each other. Um, I think they did like kind of a preview on the Outdoor Channel or whatever channel, Sportsman's Channel, whatever it is. I told them it was really cool. Everybody can talk to each other. Um, if one guy got on them, you can communicate back and forth. You can pass baits. You can do lots of stuff. So this could be really fun for TV, but it could be really fun, period. I think all the cup things are going away. Uh, I think they're doing away with the cup things. I always get confused by them. I never know what in the world. I mean, I never know where they're at in the thing. I, I mean, I never know if the cups are old or new. I don't never know anything. And it's hard to keep up with. I think they should do a better job than that. So, um, and not only that, they smashed them today. I think Cayuga, Cayuga, whatever it's called. I don't want to say that. I mean, they had, they had three guys over 100 pounds today. Wheeler's in second. I mean, DC's in third. I mean, they smashed them on largemouth. Is this the best largemouth lake in America? Um, although they were all, I think, like 35 fish for some odd pounds, that's still about a three-pound average, you know. Um, pretty amazing. It, it may not be the best big bass lake, because I still believe that's lake four. But is it the best lake, period, all around for numbers? And, you know, that's solid fish, three pounds. Wow. Um, that's what we should talk about. Um, so that's awesome. And then I want to say, I got some new hats in. Um, I'm going to sell these hats. But here, I got an idea. I think, and, and, and I'm going to need enough people to say that they would they want to do this for me to do it. I'm not going to even sell the hats yet until I get um, enough confirmation for this to do. I'm going to take about 25 of these hats if, it, if everybody says they would like to do this. And take these hats. Um, sell 25 of them. If you buy one of the 25 hats, you'll be entered into a 1 in 25 chance drawing, or if you buy two hats, you get two chances, whatever. Um, you'll be entered into a drawing, and in that drawing, whoever, I'm going to do it live, I'll do the little random number picker, I'll write everybody's number down, put it on the, uh, or I might do I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll, I'll do it where it's where we got all 25 people in the hat, and I'll do a random picker, and the you know I'll draw it out, and we'll give away a free master class. Now, that's if enough people say that they would like to do it. I don't know if y'all would like to do it uh, before I sell it. Um, you know, I've got to have enough enough okays for that to happen because I'm. For me to do it, I'm gonna. I need to order a few more hats where I can have 25 in, because I only order a limited number of hats, because it's not really. It ain't a big money maker. It's just to, you know, get somebody some cool hats out there, and you know, get me a new hat every now and then. I like to have me a new hat. Um, I'll put the hat as the uh, thumbnail so you can see it. So that would be really cool. Got lots of great feedback on the. Uh, got lots of great feedback on the master class so far. Guys, if you have had gotten the master class, um, email me um, at the Garmin Guru at gmail.com. Email me, message me on Facebook, put it in this message, let me know about it. I want to know feedback that way we can do it because at the end of this month, at the next light, turn left. At the end of this month, we're going to have a. I got my, my directions going. At the end of this month, let me turn them off. Okay, there we go. At the end of this month, we're going to have a master technique uh, type uh, video come out that'll be exclusive to that, which is really cool. It makes it where your your, your master class never goes old. Uh, we're always going to have update videos. We will add videos to them as we get more. Uh, you know, if, if I feel like something needs to be added to it, we will add to it. We're going to start adding some in the mapping section and things like that. So there's there's going to be plenty of expansion in this in this series. It's not just going to stop at 30 videos. I would look at it to be in the 40 to 50 video range before it's all said and done. Uh, if a new product comes out that I do purchase or something like that, 
we'll, we'll get on there and we'll really break it down. And, and that's what's great about this master class, and that's why I'm so thankful for everybody that's buying it. Um, I, I cannot tell you how thankful I am. I cannot tell you how thankful I am for the great uh, feedback I'm getting and, and just the overall positive. I tell you what, overall, 100% positive. I have not received a negative comment yet. Um, and, and I would like, if you have something, send it to me in an email. If there's something I can do better, I'll be okay with it. I'm a big boy. As long as you're nice and polite, uh, I will have a conversation with most anybody. And we'll have a great conversation. And if there's something that I can do better, you know what? I'm going to work on it and get it better. That's what we're going to do. And, uh, and the class is going to grow. And it's just going to be an amazing experience. Um, so... Guys, you know, a little bit of info, uh, like next week, I've got the, uh, don't forget, and I was going to get it out this week, and I just, my wife went on vacation, so uh, I didn't get to get as many videos out this week, I was spending a little time with the baby girl and my little man, uh, Draker, uh, spent a little extra time with them this week, so I didn't get as many videos out as I want, but don't forget, we got the, the brain versus monofilament versus fluorocarbon versus hybrid type test underwater pool, um, gonna have a really cool one coming out i'm gonna get down and we're gonna drop a cinco in the water get up close and personal to it with a camera and really see the shimmy that falls down um, uh, that, i think that'd be really cool that's gonna be a real cool video We've got some some really cool live stuff live scope stuff coming um so great week coming up i think it's gonna be really fun and guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing ring the bell don't forget comment below i need about 30 40 people to say that they'll do it because it never ends up all 35 40 people buying the hats but i need enough people saying that they'll buy the hats for me to go ahead and make, you know send the message for the lady and get some more hats made she does a wonderful job with the hats if i get enough we will do the little 25 hat uh drawing i mean if you're, if you're buying a hat and uh, it's kind of like a free drawing into it. So I'm going to do 25 hats. They're, they're $25 shipped. That, that, that's not a lot of profit. Um, trust me, because I had to drive about 50 miles to go get them. But she does such a great job. I, I, I couldn't switch to anybody else if I wanted to. Um, so they're new. The hat will be in the thumbnail. And if I get about 25 people to say they'll do this, we'll do it. We'll ship these hats out. And then we'll do a live drawing for a free master class. How's that sound? Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.